So let's look at once again at our square drawing algorithm. If we run this code, we will see that the square is drawn. But one of the ideas of pattern matching is that we can see there's a repeated pattern. 100, 90, 100, 90, so forward 100, turn right 90, forward 100, and so forth. What we'd like to do is perhaps make that a little bit easier to read. And so what we're going to do is we're going to type for count in range 1, 5, colon, notice the colon, very important, and part of Python. And then we move these two in front and take all the rest of away so that we've got now got a four statement here and we've got a counter that runs from one to five one two three four five but it will only execute four times so it'll start with one then two then three then four when it gets to five it stops so it doesn't actually do the fifth time so when we save this we should see these instructions repeated that number of times Let's see how that works. And there you go. The square has been drawn. One of the advantages of this, of course, is that we've now used fewer lines of code. And we can see immediately there's a loop so that things are repeating. Uh, do note here that I put a tab in to go from the edge of the page to there. I put a tab in. That's, and all these instructions here will be executed. And then if I want to do something else after that, I go back to the margin. So the indentation is very important, as is the colon in terms of the syntax. So I've done the four count syntax with a the colon. Then Python knows that anything that's indented one tab from the for statement will now be executed within that loop. And then if I wanted to output something here, we'll do print, type a print statement there, and it would do the print after the loop. If I put the print in here, you'll see that would be part of the loop and it would print each time. I don't want to do either of those things. 